Hello students, I'm Yen Chibini Zhang Lao and I'm going to take your chapter 8 diseases and health. Okay, so students, do you know what this picture depicts? Yes, what are this? What are your friends doing in this picture? They're going to have food, right? See all those foodstuffs. Yes, yummy food on the table. What are they doing? They're going to eat this. So like you and me, they're also going to have food. So students, do you eat food? Yes, you do in the morning, afternoon, evening. We all take our breakfast, lunch, dinner, right? So why? Why do we eat food? Let us see, okay? Today, let us see this process of getting food okay the process of obtaining food or providing food to the body is known as yes nutrition nutrition n u t r i t i o n nutrition so if anybody asks you what is nutrition nutrition means the process of obtaining food okay or eating food or providing food to the body for different metabolic processes. For what? For different metabolic processes. What is this metabolic processes? The different types of processes in our body like digestion, excretion, respiration, circulation. All we need all these processes to survive. Yes, our body undergoes different different kinds of processes in order to grow in order to live so for all these processes metabolic processes to take place we need food okay we need food and that process is known as nutrition now do you remember in your class four you have already studied healthy food Yes, do you remember the different types of nutrients? Nutrients are the substances contained in food. So let us have a quick revision, okay? The different types of uh, nu uh, nutrients, okay? See, the first we talked about in class four was carbohydrates, right? Carbohydrates, they're the main source of energy and make up the bulk of our diet. See, carbohydrates, the rice, the grains, the cereals, banana, sweet potato, maize, all this, they are the main source of energy. And they are known as carbohydrates. Yes, carbohydrates, okay? Then next we have protein. Do you remember, students? Proteins, yes. What are proteins? Proteins are contained in, you know, all these food items like the peas, okay, the meat, fish, egg. All right, all these nuts, all these types of food contains proteins. And you know that proteins are the building material for the body. It is because of this protein that we grow. Yes, we grow up. Okay, so this is the building material, proteins. Then we have fats. They are the concentrated form of energy or they are the stored food. Okay, fats are the store food you'll find in the oils, the various type of oils, in fatty fish, in the eggs, okay, nuts, butter, and even in this fruit, avocado, you will find fats. And these fats are stored energy. We eat this and they are stored in our body whenever we are hungry. Then for the time being temporary, they provide the food. Okay, so these fats act as stored energy as well as insulators. Okay, insulators of heat. They retain heat. Then we have the vitamins. Okay, vitamins, see, the fruits, yes. So vitamins are contained in all these food items. And vitamins are very useful food because they prevent infections by making our immune strong. See, our own body, like I said, our own body has got their own armies to fight back diseases, okay? Inside our blood, okay, in our blood, there are many armies protecting our body. And they are because of these vitamins, okay? If you take lots of, you know, these uh, fruits and vegetables, we get lots of vitamins and our body or the armies or the immune system, we call it immune system, gets strong. 
and we don't get diseases. We don't get sick often if we eat lots of vitamins. Okay, remember that. So have fruits and vegetables. Then next we have minerals. Yes, minerals, they're required by your body in very small quantities. Uh, in all this, say calcium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, iron, all these are minerals, okay, which are required by our body for strong bones and teeth. Yes, they're very different, right? In our body, they're very strong, the teeth and the bones. So, in order uh, for our bones and teeth to be strong, we need to have minerals, okay? They maintain our body and build our bones and teeth. Okay, so these, these are the five types of nutrients. Nutrients and nutrition. So nutrition, our nutrition should contain all these different types of food. Carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, fats, minerals. Okay, our diet, our food should contain all this in equal kinder, in balance, okay? Or else, what will happen, students? Do you know what will happen if you don't eat, you know, proper food? If you don't eat any of this, then what will happen? Yes, yeah, see, you see these pictures? Can you see these pictures? Yes. Do they look healthy? Do they look happy? No. They look like they are sick. Yes or no, they are ill. See, this girl is also in the bed, sick, okay, with high temperature, right? And this girl is also, you know, coughing, sneezing. And this little boy is also sick. Why? Maybe because they didn't have proper food. Something went wrong inside their body. Sometimes we also get sick, yes or no? Have you ever been to a doctor? Stomach upset, headache, fever, you know, loose motion. And during the time when you are sick, when you are not healthy, okay? That means when your body is not normal. When your body is not normal, that means you are sick. That means we are sick. So what happens when we are sick? We feel like sleeping all the time, yes or no? We feel so lazy. We don't want to go to school. We don't want to eat. That means we lose our appetite. Appetite means the zeal to eat. No? We lose that. So we don't feel like having food. We don't feel like going outside. We don't even want to eat our favorite food. Yes? Our normal body is affected. Okay? When we are sick. And that condition, okay? Such kind of condition, a state of unhealthy condition of the body in which one or more parts are affected and the body does not function normally. They are called diseases. What students, what are diseases? Okay, disease, D-I-S-E-A-S-E-S, -E -E -S, diseases. Diseases means unhealthy condition. That means you have some kind of disease, maybe a, a cold, maybe influenza, okay? Maybe diarrhea, maybe typhoid, malaria. See, all these conditions which makes your body unhealthy and not normal, that is known as diseases. And um, many parts of your body gets affected when you are sick, yes or no? Your stomach will pain or your head will hurt, okay? And then your mouth also not normal, don't want to eat. So that, those are known as diseases. Let us find out, yes, what is this students? Can you read out? Nutritional deficiency diseases. Once more, nutritional deficiency deficiency diseases. Okay, so what do we mean by this nutritional deficiency diseases? The diseases which are caused due to a lack of or deficiency. What is deficiency? Deficiency means absence of, okay? Or, you know, comti, na less amount, deficient, lack of. So, such kind of diseases which are caused due to deficiency of a particular nutrient. Particular nutrient, maybe your body does not have enough carbohydrates, or maybe your body does not have enough vitamins, 
or minerals or fats okay, or proteins. In that case, your body gets, you know, sick. You get diseases because of deficiency or lack of a particular nutrient. Okay, they are known as nutritional deficiency diseases. Just by the term itself, you will know what is nutritional deficiency diseases. Nutrition means all the food that we eat. So that means if something is missing in your food, then you get sick. Okay, that is nutritional deficiency diseases. Let us have a look at some nutritional diseases, okay? Not all the diseases are nutritional deficiency diseases, but let us see. And again, these are such diseases which are caused due to lack of nutrients. They are non-communicable since they cannot be passed to another person. See? Communicate. That means we can one another, okay? Talk to one another or spread to one another. But these diseases are non-communicable because they cannot spread from one person to another. See? Okay? So they cannot be spread from one person to another. That is why they are non-communicable diseases. Let us find out some of the diseases, okay? Let us find out the names of some of the diseases which are caused due to lack of or deficiency of some vitamins or minerals, okay? First, if your diet does not contain enough vitamin A, vitamin A, okay? Does not contain enough vitamin A, then what will it cause? It will cause night blindness. Okay, it will cause night blindness. Look in your textbook, okay, you will find, uh, you know, where you will find this vitamin A. I'll give you one example, carrots. In carrots, you will have, uh, there are lots of vitamin A packed in carrots, okay. So, but if your diet, not only in carrots, there are many other vegetables which contains vitamin A, okay. So, if your diet does not contain vitamin A, it causes night blindness. It affects your vision, your eyes. Okay, so for healthy eyes, if you want your eyes to be, you know, sharp, clear, if you want to see clearly, then you should take lots of vitamin A or else, or else, what will it cause? Night blindness or even blindness, deep blindness also, okay? At night, some people at night, when the night comes, they don't see anything, okay? That is called night blindness. Next, vitamin B. If your food does not contain vitamin B, it causes, see, B causes beriberi, okay? It causes a disease called beriberi. And if your food does not contain vitamin C or your diet is deficient in vitamin C, then you get scurvy. What? Scurvy. S-C-U-R-V-Y, scurvy. Now, this vitamin C, vitamin C, where, do, where will you get this vitamin C? Mostly in, you know, fruits, tangy and sour, like oranges, okay, and pineapples, and tomatoes, vitamin C in lemons, okay, all these, you know, sour uh, food items, we find this vitamin C. And if you don't take Vitamin C, what happens? It causes scurvy. Scurvy means it will affect your gums, okay? Your gums will become weak. It will start bleeding. Yes? So, scurvy is caused due to deficiency of vitamin C. Then, what about vitamin D? See? Vitamin A, B, C, D. What about vitamin T? It causes rickets. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you one, one, one example only, okay? Now, vitamin T, natural, free, free of course. Where will you get this vitamin T? Vitamin T, you get it from sunlight, okay? Sunlight is a free natural source of vitamin T. So, in the morning, I advise you in the morning, you know, go outside and stand in the sun for at least 10, 20 minutes, okay? Morning sun is very good for our health. It'll, the sunlight will enter our body and it makes our bones, teeth strong, okay? And if your diet does not contain vitamin D, it causes rickets. 
the bones will become very weak okay if you don't have vitamin enough vitamin t in your body bones become weak and brittle and breaks easily okay do you want your bones to break no so you should have vitamin d okay sunlight and many other uh, food items are there okay then iron iron is a mineral okay iron is a mineral and if your diet does not contain iron it'll cause anemia what anemia okay a n a e m i a anemia your blood count will be less okay and if there is no iron in your blood then a person will always be weak always tired have you experienced that is there anyone in your class who is always tired and lazy and even the lips are at least whitish lips are supposed to be you know reddish right but leaves will be all white because because the body does not contain iron and iron you will find in green leafy vegetables green leafy vegetables you'll find iron and if you if you don't take iron then like i said it causes anemia where we always get tired and don't feel like playing or working always feeling lazy okay so anemia is caused due to deficiency of iron then calcium and phosphorus what calcium and phosphorus is also a mineral okay mineral calcium and phosphorus if your uh, food does not contain calcium and phosphorus it causes improper development of bones and teeth like i said earlier minerals calcium and phosphorus they are very important for healthy teeth and healthy bones okay and this calcium and phosphorus they can take action only when there is vitamin d even if you take calcium and phosphorus slots if there is no vitamin d they cannot work so these two are related okay calcium phosphorus and vitamin d all right because vitamin d helps in the absorption of calcium and phosphorus and indirectly uh, uh, improves the development of bones and teeth okay so deficiency of calcium and phosphorus causes improper development of bones and teeth then last we have this iodine iodine is also a mineral wh where you will find in salt common salt the salt namak that we eat okay iodine is content there and if your food does not contain iodine then it causes a disease called coiter okay where you know the uh, your glands okay your thyroid glands are enlarged your neck have you seen anybody you know with an enlarged neck like this okay that is a coiter that is a condition called coiter because the food does not contain enough iodine all right so these are some of the nutritional deficiency diseases then let us see non-communicable diseases can also be caused by harmful substances present in the air like fumes of cars factories okay can cause lungs and heart diseases by bad habits such as smoking and drinking alcohol smoking is a major cause of the heart lungs and blood diseases and alcohol leads to liver and other gastrointestinal diseases so like i said nutritional deficiency diseases they are non-communicable okay that means they cannot be spread from one person to another even if you have beriberi or even if we have a night blindness or goiter it cannot get infected to another person okay it cannot get infected because they are non-communicable so other than other than nutritional deficiency diseases there are certain other diseases okay there are certain other diseases which cannot be communicated like uh, by harmful substances present in the air you know fumes or smoke from cars do you like the smoke coming out from the you know uh, pipes of the vehicles the bus trucks black black fumes they're known as fumes okay the smoke so this causes all this smoke causes diseases heart diseases and lung diseases okay lungs your lungs is infected heart is infected also smoking okay smoking and drinking alcohol no because it affects your lungs it affects your liver 
it affects your blood, blood cancer, lung cancer, you know, gastritis, you know, gastric problem or gastrointestinal problem, stomach problem, okay? So no smoking, no drinking alcohol, okay? Because it causes such, you know, fatal diseases. Then let us see other type of diseases like, which is caused by, say, germs like bacteria. You know, bacteria, microorganisms, which you cannot see with your eyes, no, protozoa and virus. Can you name, give me one virus now? Yes, tell me the name of one virus, coronavirus, right? Yes, so such kind of viruses, bacteria, protozoa, they are present in the air around us and in the water and in the food. And if we happen to eat this, okay, unknowingly, then it causes diseases. Okay, it causes diseases and such kind of diseases are called communicable diseases. That means diseases caused by germs, okay, are called communicable diseases. What are communicable diseases? Which are caused by germs, okay, like bacteria, viruses, protozoa, in the air, water, food. And when you get infected by this, it is communicable, okay. You can infect another person also. Examples are cholera, typhoid, influenza, measles, chickenpox, malaria, jointis. All these are caused by germs, okay? And it is communicable. And it can be spread from the following ways, like by direct contact, okay? Direct contact. When you shake hands, this is a direct contact. Then germs, see? Look at the germs around. It causes... It infects the other person. Also, if you are wearing, you know, if you are wearing uh, a clothes of someone else who is infected, uh, those having ringworms, scabies, other infections, if, we wear, if you wear their clothes, then you also get infected by a direct contact, by air, by coughing and sneezing. See? Coughing and sneezing, the germs are coming out, yes or no? So common cold examples are common cold, sorti bimar, na? cough, flu, measles. All these are caused by uh, the germs which are in the air. Then by food and water. While you are taking food which is contaminated, that has got germs, then you get infected and it causes diarrhea, like loose motion, upset stomach, fever, vomiting. Okay, so germs present in food and water causes all these diseases. See the flies around, it causes diseases, diarrhea, jointis, typhoid, or cholera. And also by insects, like the mosquitoes or the fleas. Fleas means the lice which are uh, present in, uh, you know, in the dogs, okay? The skin of the dogs or even in cats, these fleas, they cause, you know, diseases. So communicable diseases are also caused by insects like malaria, yellow fever, plague, dengue, etc. So, students, today we have learned up to this and we will continue, okay? We will continue in the next class. So, until then, you take care and see you. Bye-bye.